Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. You guys remember this? I did this little mod on the filter and decided to put this uh, filter mounted on the outside just with one of them little uh, twist ties there. Okay, ran into a little bit of a problem, guys. This compressor I was planning on using this summer up at the camp with my uh, nail gun. Guys, I took this out on uh, two different times now. Do a couple little jobs at some friends of mine. Load this in the truck. First thing I did was ask the wife, come out in the driveway, give me a hand and lift this in. No problem lift it in. It's, uh, it's a great compressor, but you know what? Like, how do you grab a hold of this thing? And you know, it, it's not the easiest thing to grab a hold of by yourself when you're taking it out of the truck. And uh, a ramp, like ramps and that kind of stuff. No, I just don't want to deal with that and having to put ramps in the back of my truck as well. So, surprisingly, my wife bought me something. You just guys want to take a look? Because <laughs> when you come back, it's going to be right here. So, hold on. Okay, guys, this is the compressor. I came in the uh, garage there two nights ago. It was sitting there on top of my table saw. And uh, my wife decided that instead of me struggling, taking it out of the truck and, you know, chance of uh, hurting your back and that kind of stuff, she decided to buy me this compressor. And I thought that was pretty good. Doesn't get no better than that, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the box. And I was doing some reading online about it. I haven't even opened it up yet. And apparently you got to put the oil in it and you have to put it through a break-in procedure. So I'm going to do all that. And then what are we going to do? We're going to test it. Well, here we are. This is the beast right here. I, uh, the only thing I did so far was follow the instructions. I put the air cleaner on it and I put oil inside and you have to run it for 20 minutes with the tank valve open. So I've done that. That's all I've done so far. And then I shut the power off. So I'll give you a little tour around it, see what it looks like. To me, it looks like a pretty decent compressor. So let's take a look. So right off the bat there, she's got two nice outlets on it and they are universal uh, quick connectors. And uh, so you just got your tank pressure and your uh, outlet pressure. So yeah, this is all I had to do here was put the oil, put the oil in here, put this uh, air filter on and uh, I'll show you the tag here. I don't know if it's going to come in because she's pretty shiny there. Yeah, she's pretty shiny. But it's, uh, this thing only runs at, let me see now, what does it say there? Uh, 1720 RPM, 130 maximum PSI, and the cutout pressure, were, uh, the, cut, the turn on pressure I believe is 100 PSI when it turns on. So that's it right there. I mean, to me, it looks well built. I'm not an expert on compressors, but this is just the off and on. This is a pressure relief. And it's got a lot of safety features on it for overload protection and everything else. But the main thing I want to do is hook up my nail gun and we'll see how she fires. That's the real test right there. I know it's going to run up north when I use my, uh, my gen set because this here is uh, two and a half horse and I know that it will run it and of course you have to have this set up to a 15 amp breaker so I'll turn it on first and just let you hear it's hard to tell on a video but I will turn it on and let you hear what it sounds like when it's building up pressure and then we'll try the nail gun okay so what I'm gonna do here is just snap it in I notice it's got these uh, universal quick connectors and they are fantastic to operate with because all you do is you just bring it up and just push them in Guys, they just snap in nice and easy. So I'm going to start it up, let you listen to it. I'm going to adjust the uh, air pressure. The tank's going to have to fill up. I'm not going to bore you with letting the tank fill up. But uh, we'll come back after it's uh, charged up, and I'll start doing some nailing, and we'll see how it works with nail gun. Now, I got the 3-inch uh, nails in there, and what I'm curious about is... Uh, I've noticed that the nail gun likes to run around 100 PSI. So we'll see how it runs at 100 PSI and whether the tank actually drops pressure and affects the gun at all or whether it just runs fine. We're going to find out. So I'll start it up now and let you listen to it. Now I find that that's pretty decent right there. I mean if you guys can hear me talk, like this is pretty low. I think 
is rated around uh, 70 some odd decibels, but uh, yeah, that's pretty low. I'll let it charge up, I'll adjust everything, we'll come back and start doing some nailing. Okay guys, just for the heck of it, I had to time it how long it took to fill that tank, and it was 1 minute and 21 seconds, right from empty to filled right up. So I did put the gauge, I'll show you on the gauge here, I put the gauge at 110 PSI, and the uh, cut in pressure is 100 and I want to see if it'll affect it. Now I don't have a full coil of nails here but I think the machine's got to go on before I run out of nails. There's got to be 40 nails in there. So let's take a look. Okay so let's get to it here. I'll just uh, see if we just can't bang some nails in here. guys that's not too bad right there okay so we got nine nails nine nails before it cut in to start building up the tank what I want to do this time is uh, set it right at 100 and when she cuts in whether it affects the gun because a lot of times the lag between the cut in pressure and what the gun needs is two different things so let's try that again except at 100 PSI and watch when I uh, hammer in the nails. Okay so here we are right here. I got her set right at 100. The tank's full 130 PSI. So let's just start uh, hammering some nails and let's see how she goes. Okay let's go. Okay guys, that's what I wanted to see. Yeah, she works really nice. And uh, it pumps that pressure up real fast. Pretty impressed with this unit. Um, I'd like to have a little bit of feedback from you guys, whether you know anything about the Makita brand of uh, air compressors, whether a good brand or not. To me, she looks pretty good, guys. Like, uh, yeah, runs really smooth. Um, I don't know the difference between what kind of a compressor this is, whether a homeowner compressor, more of a medium duty, heavy duty, I'm not too sure. But it's nice and I can lift this myself no problem, lift it up, put it in the back of the truck. I'd be happy with this. I know it can run off my gen set and uh, has a lot of nice features. Everything on it doesn't feel flimsy and cheap or anything like that. I think it's nice and it's going to work out fantastic for my nail gun. I'll be using it this summer, building a lot of projects, hopefully showing you what I'm doing. Thanks for joining in everybody and welcome to subscribe if you've never seen this channel before and it's always a pleasure reading the comments guys. Uh, nothing better than a uh, little bit of a hobby like this on YouTube with uh, a bunch of terrific people. Come back again, let's have some more fun. Bye guys.